is your boy Jay. And I'm Sue. And we are Expecto Go bring you guys the list. And Grace. And Mrs. She's like content. And today, 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 we are here. We are here to talk about the Christmas Calamity Brilliant Event Part 2. So we're gonna do a complete breakdown of all the details of the event and give you four tips to make sure you have the most fun during this event as possible. So let's get into it. All right, details. Uh, the event starts on December 17th, which is a Tuesday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. That is 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and ends on the uh, on Christmas Eve, which is crazy. <laughs> I guess I'll be doing all of my Christmas shopping after 2 p.m. on Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't Facts. done any of it yet. <laughs> Facts. Uh, ending at 11 a.m. Um, on Christmas Eve as well. You have a chance to uh, receive 15, 15 restricted books My and uh, three spell books, which, I mean, spell books is spell books. That's, that's always clutch. Always clutch. Okay, so for the brilliant foundables that you will be getting in the wild, it'll be Harry and Parvati and brilliant Fred and Angelina. Nice. Which I'm nice. super excited about. Yeah, yeah. I love theirs. I'll, yeah, the animation is off the it's chain for so, them. The yeah. animation is awesome. So cute, so cute. The other foundables from the Port Key and Wizarding Challenges. Draco Malfoy, particularly brilliant Draco Malfoy, who's making his first appearance in the game, uh, will be uh, seen or rewarded during Wizarding Challenges. And then for Port Keys, you will be rewarded the uh, silver gargoyle, silver Hufflepuff gargoyle, which oh. let's go. Hey. Let's go. <laughs> it's the same house. Who's this guy? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Hufflepuff, day of the Hufflepuff is coming. So you would get that from four keys. <laughs> So for completing the task, you're gonna get a brilliant pumpkin juice, Ooh. a brilliant Christmas cracker, which I assume I will know what that is once I get one. Yep. And, <laughs> and you'll also get a brilliant snowy Christmas tree. Ooh, festive. Which is going to be so nice. Yeah, yeah. So that's awesome, that's awesome. Now, let's get into the task. So for the first task, you're going to get five baubles from inns, which will give you two red spell books, uh, return 10 foundables for 10 Brilliant Family XP, and collect five gifts for 20 uh, Brilliant Family XP. So for the second task, you're gonna collect five more baubles, this time by casting a Bublio. That'll give you 15 Brilliant Family XP. Next, you have to unlock four port keys, which will give you 300 wizarding XP. And for the last task, you have to send five gifts and that will give you 20 brilliant family XP. All right, on to task three. First, you have to brew five potions, five. This is a lot, this is a lot. We'll, we'll go over the tips for that. But that's going to be 500 XP if you are able to do that. Then you have to return five five high or higher threat level foundables. That is another 500 XP. And then place two dark detectors, which will give you 15 family XP, brilliant family XP, which is cool because the dark detectors work with the high foundables and you need the potions to return the high foundables. So all that works together, all right? All that works together. All right, and the fourth and final task of the Christmas Calamity Brilliant Event Part Two. First, you have to collect 15 baubles from casting a Bublo on foundables. That'll give you guys 25 brilliant family XP. Second, you have to brew another, another seven, seven potions uh, to get 750 wizarding XP. And then last but not least, and I'm confused by the wording here, uh, you have to collect 20 fragments. I'm assuming foundables, because each foundable you return is a fragment uh, in the registry. So that's what I'm assuming. Uh, there was no clarity on the Wizards Unite Hub, but from that, you will also receive another 25 Brilliant Family XP. <laughs> All 
also just like with every brilliant event we are going to have a bonus assignment which is always good extra rewards all that jazz so you will be able to um, receive spell books if you are able to collect 30 baubles from brilliant uh, foundable then you also have to defeat 30 fortress mobs which wording like I don't understand the mobs thing so I just chopped it down to 30 wizarding foes so wizarding challenges the foes and wizarding challenges you have to defeat 30 of those and also send 10 gifts but like I said if you can complete all of those you get three spell books which is always clutch some family XP and some normal wizarding XP now let's get into the tips to help you guys with this event. Tip number one, save your community day port keys because they're one kilometer and you can get through them way faster than any of the other available port keys. Um, so save those for the brilliant event. Tip number, <laughs> tip number three, find a flagless area, an area with no landmarks. And here's why. Just like I say with every brilliant event, they interfere with event specific spawns. Uh, especially if you have a tonic so like to help just make this event as efficient and as fun as possible find an area uh, without any flags or landmarks uh, you guys can refer to my part one of the brilliant event video where I saw all those foundables brilliant foundables that was because I was in the flagless area so it definitely helps especially with the bonus section where you have to collect 30 baubles and return 30 <laughs> brilliant foundables so it's already gonna be hard doing that you don't want it to be hard just to find them so find an area without any flags or landmarks that'll help you big time the fourth and final tip for you guys we have is to brew specifically healing potions and extimular potions here's why one they are the fastest potions to brew taking two hours two we have to brew 12 total potions to complete uh, all four of the tasks 12 12 now if you add that up with the hours that's 24 hours if you guys are trying to be as efficient as possible uh work on those two potions extremely potions always help especially with these high severe and emergency threat level foundables you might encounter via the brilliant foundables or with the dark detectors so extremely potions are always clutch then with the healing potions if you're not a magic zoologist, they help because we're going to need to defeat 30 foes in the bonus section of the Brilliant event. So healing potions are going to help as well. Now, you can only brew four at a time or eight if you have a rental cauldron. But what's good about these two potions also, the third part is they're cheap. If you want to speed through these two potions and pay for them, they're the cheapest ones. So again, Healing potions, extremely potions, I would focus on those and knock those out so you complete this event, these tasks as fast as possible. So tip number four, brew healing and normal extremely potions. tip for you guys if you need help finding uh, the specific foundables where you need to cast a boblio a boblio um, orange wizard actually on his Instagram has a list of all the foundables for each of the registry uh, what spells you need to cast on them and stuff like that so definitely check that out but that's going to be it that's going to be it from us if you guys if you guys have any extra tips to share as always post them in the comment section below we always try to help each other out hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you thank you so much for stopping by if you are new subscribe to the channel here you'll be getting all the latest and greatest and wizards that content uh tips tricks gameplay news and updates if you're into that uh concerning wizards unite 
definitely give us a subscribe. Also, follow us on our various forms of social media, Instagram, Twitter. We post daily. All Instagram, um, that's where we have all our AR photos, uh, photo mode is the exact term in Wizards Unite. Uh, we're actually doing 12 days of Wizards Unite AR. Uh, hashtag, I'll have that on the screen, but uh, well, definitely. Days of war. Uh, war. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely check that out. If you want to uh, join us in that, uh, feel free. Uh, just use the hashtag and um, having fun with it. Definitely having fun. I got to post one today, but we're going to get out of here. Hope you guys have an awesome, brilliant event. Hope you guys are uh, enjoying the holiday season and super excited for Christmas. Uh, we will see you guys in the next video. As always, until next time.